Okay, now before I start this review here, there is one thing I forgot to mention while saying, while doing the review. And I think I said this in Cinderella. And this goes for any live action Disney film that's a remake of one of their Disney classics, okay? Um, I, like I said, I think I said this was Cinderella. I also, I think I mentioned this in Maleficent as well. Um, if you're going to make changes from not just the original source material, but from the original Disney animated films that these are based off. This also goes for any of the future ones, such as Beauty and the Beast that's supposed to be coming out. You have to make changes that make sense. If they don't make sense, people won't, won't understand them and they will not enjoy them. With that being said, it's a movie. It has to be some sort of adaptation from the original film. The original film, as far as the Jungle Book, was made back in 1967, okay? So it's understandable that there's going to be some changes, some updates. It's going to possibly be a little bit darker than what we're originally used to. That's just something I just want to throw out there, okay? I think I said that in the last live-action Disney remake review, but I'm just saying it again. If you're going to make changes, have them make sense. If they don't make sense... People won't get them, and they won't enjoy them as much. Okay? With that being said, here's the review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You hoo hoo whoop dee I want to be like you. Hoo-hoo-hoo-ba-doo-ba-doo-ba. I want to walk like you. Talk like you, too. You see, it's true. Someone like me can learn to be human, too. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I'm pretty sure I suck it as good or better than Christopher Walken. <laughs> hey everyone, Sarna Rocks is here and just came back from seeing The Jungle Book 2016. And oh man, I got a couple of things to say. So I don't want this review to be too long. This is going to switch the uh, light around here. I don't want this review to be too long, okay? So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. <clears throat> as well as... um. Uh, confirming something for I guess a good bit of people depending on how many people are gonna see this um, so the Jungle Book 2016 it's getting a lot of praise right now for both critics and um, audiences at least according to uh, Rotten Tomatoes and I think it still has like a 94 on Rotten Tomatoes or something like that 94 93 um yeah, is it a 90 movie? Um, well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, I keep it real. I keep it real. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but also, I have to say, this is just my personal opinion, okay? A lot of people don't feel the same way. I've um, watched some other reviews on some other uh, internet critics that I like to watch. And, you know, everybody has their different opinion on things and stuff like that. I will say right now, as far as this year goes, as far as movies, uh, especially Disney movies, Zootopia still remains my favorite. Uh, I was actually, I actually had the opportunity to go see Zootopia again today for a second movie showing, for a double showing, but I opt to come back here so I can film this review. And I'm a little tired, so um, I actually almost fell asleep on The Jungle Book, and it's not that long. So, yeah, that I didn't want to fall asleep on Zootopia in case I had to go see it again. So that, so that was a thing. Um, so as far as the movie, is it worth a 90? Uh, I, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I found the film to be good. I, I, I enjoyed the film, okay? This is, I enjoyed the film as much as I did um, uh, Cinderella of last year. And I said, like, you know, it had its flaws and things like that. I, I, I talked about it, I went to more in depth about it. And The Jungle Book is the same way. It has its flaws. There are some things that are just better in the animated version. Uh, but with that being said, it still feels like a... Might be a better put together story here. I don't know. They seem to be going, like kind of all over the place as far as like the uh they're trying to include stuff from the book and from the animated film and they're trying to put these things together and it's sometimes it works for like for half an hour or so it works and then for like another two to three minutes it doesn't work too well uh but then you know you get that another half an hour that comes up and it's and it's really good from there so this is just my personal opinion i i know a lot of people are split on this as far as like the uh, internet critics are and you know people saying that oh maybe the book is better or something like that i don't think it's worth a 90 or rotten tomatoes if i was going rotten tomatoes score i would possibly give it about a 75 if i was going rotten tomatoes score if we was just looking at this film on a technical level, just 
through uh, CGI, the mix of live live action and animated, and how and how well the because uh, I went to go see this in 3D and how well the 3D was presented. This was fantastic. Um, it would get a perfect score if we were just going on the technical level and how they did this and how uh, this actor and this 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 kid actor I can't remember his name he was on Jimmy Kimmel last night oddly enough I, I can't remember his name um, but the kid who plays Mowgli in here really good job man because everything around him is all CGI you know all these creatures are not really there and he makes it so believable and he feels like you know. Like this, is what a little kid would do, or say, or act, and, and it works. It definitely works. Um, the voice actors, well, they're actors, but they're voice actors such as Idris Elba, uh, Ben Kinsley, Bill Murray, Christopher Walken, and Scarlett Johansson as Ka. Uh, you got uh, Libya Nyong'o. Lip, 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 Tia Nyong'o. I, I, I'm sorry if I butchered her name. I had no idea she was the mother wolf in here. She sounded very sincere. I could not tell that was her voice at all. I knew she was in the movie, but I couldn't tell who she voiced. Um, a lot of them worked out. You know, you could tell that's Bill Murray doing Baloo, uh, but it works. It does work with Baloo. Uh, if there was anybody besides Bill Murray that can possibly do Baloo, I would always think that John Goodman could. And I'm surprised they didn't get John Goodman for that. I heard that they tried to get him, but it didn't work out or something. Or he was doing that, that other movie, that 10 Cloverfield Lane or something like that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, and uh, Idris Elba was good. Ben Kinsley was good. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, you could tell that was her as well. Ka's scene was very short. I thought it was going to be longer than that, but there wasn't a lot to his scene. Or her scene, since it's voiced by Scarlett Johansson. I guess Ka's a female now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know Snake Anatomy. And she comes off very sinister, very cunning in this. Uh, like I said, her part could have definitely been given to uh, a Grey Delisle or something like that. Grey Delisle Griffin, because I think she's married now, you know, the voice actress. The one who does the voice of Catwoman in all the Batman Arkham games. Uh, she would be, she would have been a great cop. And they should have gotten a regular actress. Scarlett Johansson didn't need to be in this. <laughs> really, she really didn't. I, I love her voice. You know, I, I love me some Scarlett Johansson. I talked about it. I had a crush on her for years. Still do. Um, you know, one day you'll be mine. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to excuse all the weirdness aside here. Um, but, you know, I, I love her. I love her voice. And it works for this character, but at the same time, you could have got a regular voice actor. She didn't really need to be in there. Um, it was just another big name just to throw up on the um, on the credits because she did get like a, a big name drop and it's, she's only in there for like 10 minutes, not even possibly. That's it. Uh, <laughs> there's some, there's a couple other scenes that just like last for about uh, five minutes or so and then it's over. But they were far and few in between. Most of the stuff that happened in the um, in the movie, you know, was coherent. They, it, it went with the plot of the uh, film, so I didn't have any problem with that. So acting, um, CGI, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This this is definitely um, once again Disney is stepping the bar up. They're taking the first foot forward as far as uh, using CGI. This, a lot of people said this is the best CGI since, you know, Avatar kind of did its thing. And yeah, Avatar was a big uh, leap up in CGI, but I hated Avatar. <laughs> I hated Avatar. This is a film I don't hate. Yeah, that, that's the difference. Um, so, so the film was, was enjoyable and I'm not going to go too much into the story, which is why this video is going to be long. It's the Jungle Book. If you don't know the Jungle Book by now, what rock was you living under? It's different from the 1967 film from the way, I think it's 1967, or is it 57? I can't remember. It's different from the animated film as far as um, a character mostly, and how the way it ends. So it, it ends a little bit differently here. It ends on an even happier note than the um, animated film did, even though the animated film I did kind of like the way it left off. And it did not warrant a sequel. I don't know why they made a Jungle Book 2. Yes, I saw that. Uh, it was pretty pointless. But nonetheless, um, this film was, in my personal opinion, uh, pretty enjoyable. I, I went in there, you know, a little bit skeptical because I heard from uh, people, because even though Rotten Tomatoes gives something like a high score, that doesn't mean it's worth that. Uh, even Zootopia, which I freaking love, 98% um, on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, no! 
okay, no, that one I might agree with. That one I might agree with. Uh, I really love Zootopia. <laughs> Go see Zootopia again. Um, I'm gonna be talking about Zootopia possibly you know, the rest of the year until I see it again. Um, yeah, this this film I don't think is worth like a 90 something. It's definitely like a 75. It's good, it's not great. That's my personal opinion, okay? If I had to rate it on stars out of four stars, yeah, I'll give it three. That's fine, you know. I was gonna say two and a half, but that's. Uh, but I really did end up enjoying it a lot more than what I thought. So we went to the matinee, and like I said, we saw it in 3D. Here's my ticket here. Little ticket. Saw it in 3D. Uh, once again, 3D was really enjoyable. Now, I normally don't go to 3D. The last 3D film I went to, uh, my mother was actually paying it this time. She was treating me this time. So uh, we went to the 3D show, and um, the last 3D film I went to was Wreck-It Ralph back in 2012, and I made a review about that, and I talked about the 3D experience for a little bit. Uh, even for a film that's not, you know, animated, animated, like, uh, you know, Wreck-It Ralph or uh, Princess and the Frog, you know, something like that, the 3D visuals really popped out here, and my god, it really worked in 3D. It felt like they was right there in your face, and we was close up on the screen. Uh, this, there was so, their theater was packed, by the way. Uh, and because it was packed, there wasn't a lot of seats um, in the back, so you could see it for 3D. When I was going to see 3D, I like to sit further in the back. That way, when it pops out, it doesn't feel like, you know, it's going through, like, the side of the screen to me. Um, there were some parts where it felt like it was going through, the, when it was going through the side of the screen, I was just like, okay, that's kind of breaking the immersion for me. But then there was other parts where, you know, you're looking at it at the right angle, and, um, and it looked like the character is popping out, like the scene with Ka. Like, she looks like, he, she looks like it, the snake was really popping out at you. And it was hissing in your face, and I was just waiting for that jump, but it never came. Um, which, which is funny, because there's actually a few jumps in here. And I didn't get surprised, because I knew they was coming. It was so, it was so predictable that these, like, jump scares were coming. Um, but my mother was actually scared. <laughs> she, she actually goes, ah, you know, she jumped a little bit when, um, when Shere Khan jumped, jumped out of the, uh, jumped out of the field. <clears throat> or when, uh, Ka came down and stuff like that. She was like, oh, I don't like snakes. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so from there, and then you have, like, a bit of a musical mixed in. It's like they wanted to do a musical at some point, but then it was like, nah, we're not going to go with that. They do sing Bare Necessities, by the way. Uh, they do sing I Want to Be Like You, by the way. Uh, Christopher Walken sings it, but he's like singing, talking, and there was some few laughs in the theater over that because, <laughs> you know, Christopher Walken has such a special delivery that even when he's singing, he's like, You! I want to be like you! I want to talk like you! Walk like you! Too! <laughs> it's... He does great though. He does really good. I went in there. I was like, when he showing up, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. Uh, I, he was serious at times. He was funny and he was intimidating, uh, for you know just from voice acting. And it's so funny how to summon King Louie, he had to ring a cowbell. I thought that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> you know, a lot of people be like, oh, that's that's ridiculous. That's dumb because you know the old. I need more cowbell Joe Christopher Walken did on SNL, and, you know, but so the cowbell, if you don't know that video, look it up, it's hilarious, it's one of the best sketches ever, um, so when the whole part, when he picks up a cowbell, I'm like, oh my god, really, I, <laughs> some people in the theater got that, it was a couple people laughing, um, I personally, I was laughing too, I was like, oh god, really, the cowbell, not a lot of people got that, I don't know, I'm surprised that not a lot of people didn't. So, um, the, the animals also kind of look like the actors, like, Blue kind of looks like Bill Murray a little bit, even they got his, like, deadpan eyes a little bit. <coughs> Shere Khan, uh, it didn't really look like Idris Elba, um, Bagheera kind of looked like Ben Kinsley a little bit too, and King Louie looked like Christopher Walken. So, the, it made them very humanized as far as, like, seeing their eyes and, and uh, whatnot with these voices and their facial appearance with these uh, different actors so yeah overall it's it's the Jungle Book um, same thing I said with Cinderella it's Cinderella again so it's just a live-action version it's just a very well done live-action version 
Oh man, I've been talking for way too long. What is this going on for about 15 minutes? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So with that being said, my final thoughts on it is that I think it's a good film. Um, on a technical level, it's, very, it's superb. It's definitely pushing the bar for uh, a new generation of films that are going to be using a lot of CGI, especially if they're going to be using CGI animals. I want them all to look like this. I want them all to, to look as realistic as this. Okay, don't give me that Jurassic World bullshit, okay? <laughs> them raptors look like shit. I'm sorry they did. They look fake as hell. And it was funny because at certain scenes, um, you can tell like this is CGI design real animals, especially when they're fighting and the camera's moving around. I don't know if that's just the 3D, but it looked really fake to me when um, that was going on. And that bothered me a little bit. But then other time, but then the majority of the film, it looks very good. So yeah, if you're going to go see it in 3D, be cautious. You might feel a little bit nauseous at first because there's like a lot of camera movement. It starts off with Mowgli running through the uh, running through the, the jungle. So. There's a lot of camera movements up and down. It's all over the goddamn place. I was feeling nauseous by that. I would say um, this is one of the only films, like next to Wreck-It Ralph, I say, you know, if you go see it in 3D, it's fine. You know, if you want to pay the extra amount of money, or if you go to the matinee like we did, um, it still might be a little bit extra, but 3D is good. 3D was a lot of fun. Just make sure you get a good seat for that. Uh, otherwise, go see it in 2D if you want. Like, see this and make your mind up about it. It's basically the Jungle Book again. This could possibly be, you know, I would say see it once. See it once and make up your own mind about it. I ignore the critics, ignore the naysayers, whether the film's good or bad. Go see it, make up your own mind on it. Even though I may have enjoyed the film, a lot of people possibly did. Okay? So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or maybe a comment, anything. You did enjoy the video, you hated the movie, go see, give it a dislike. Tell me why you didn't like the film. Or tell me why you liked the film, okay? Could be good, it could be not. Maybe the live action Disney films don't work out for you. If this was me, like about three years ago, I possibly would have hated this film because anything live action Disney remakes I don't like I don't know what it is I I can't stand them they're not they're inferior compared to the animated version this might be the only one in my opinion that could be on par with the animated version but the animated version is kind of all over the place a little bit so I mean it's not even I love the Jungle Book because it's part of my childhood and I also enjoy the film on its own as a whole but I would say things were more fleshed out here in the live action version, and that's just, just my opinion. So I still think they did some things better here. Although, I would say that they did some things better in the animated version as well. If you're looking for a Jungle Book movie based off the actual book, The Jungle Book, you're not going to find it here. This is Disney, guys, okay? This is Disney's version. It's pretty dark in this film, okay? I mean, a freaking wolf gets thrown off of a cliff, for goodness sake. And, ah. Uh, Damn it, that was a spoiler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was a bit of a spoiler. Uh, there are a couple of characters that die. So, with that being said, that's it. I'm not going to spoil anything more. Just tell me what you think. If you have an opinion on it, if not, that's fine. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your fight. Oh my god, it was sung so much better in the animated version. I mean the bare necessities. The camera's already on.